Here on a little hill in southeastern Turkey, rests a secret that was hidden for thousands of years until uncovered again in 1994. Gobekli Tepe dates to 9,500 BCE. That's 11,500 years old, more than twice as old as the ancient Egyptian pyramids, and almost three times as old as Stonehenge. Carvings on the face of the stone megaliths depict both wild animals and humans. It's debated whether the site was a thriving civilization or temple of worship, but there's plenty of history here still waiting to be uncovered. You might have heard of Gobekli Tepe, dated between 8,000 and 9,500 BCE. It's one of, if not the oldest, megalithic sites in the world, and many consider the structure located on the unassuming potbelly-shaped hill to be the birthplace of human civilization. But you've probably never heard of Karahan Tepe, the smaller sister site of Gobekli Tepe that, at a minimum, dates to the same time period and is possibly even older. But the older dating is yet to be confirmed. These megalithic sites are separated by just 20 miles and are both located on hills. Karahan Tepe has similar T-shaped pillars, but unlike Gobekli Tepe, features a clear image of a human male face. Some of the stone pillars also resemble phalluses, the discovery of an additional gathering place within the same region, of the scale and time period they were founded, indicate the presence of a large hunter-gatherer civilization prior to the development of agriculture. The Saberk relief carvings are among some of the oldest known narrative carvings in the world. It's located in the region of Turkey where Gobekli Tepe and its lesser-known sister site, Karahan Tepe reside, all of which date to around 9000 BCE. According to archaeologist Ilam Ozdogan, the scene that includes a variety of animals like leopards, snakes, bulls, and humans is the reflection of a collective memory that kept the values of its community alive. Ozdogan is referencing the Neolithic hunter-gatherers of this region and their transition from a nomadic lifestyle to a more sedentary lifestyle that would eventually bring about the advent of agriculture. And if you're wondering whether or not one of the human figures depicted was holding their phallus, you'd be right. If you like my content, hit the like button and subscribe. And also check out my Patreon.